myself to a special breakfast. And this week, I'm going to use a little recipe I found on TikTok. Uh, super simple, and I think you can do it too. It's these. The eggy bagel thing. So yeah, you want to grab yourself some bagels, some eggs. Now I used American cheese and pre-cooked bacon, but the recipe I saw used some salami, and you want to use butter. Today I'm using my toaster oven to cook these. So you want to take your butter, I used about a tablespoon. I'm just cutting it down, putting it in this Tupperware container so I can melt it. You want to throw it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. I did stir it and put it back in for about 10 seconds, but you definitely don't want to overcook butter in the microwave. You want to take your metal melted butter and just coat each half of the, the bagel. Get it good and coated. Slop it on. You want to take some aluminum foil and just cover your little baking sheet for your toaster oven. You want to take those bagel halves and you want to put them face down on the baking sheet. Now I had to cut the centers out a little more so stuff would fit. But you want to put the bacon in first or whatever meat you're using. I used about three strips per half of bagel here. Then took some American cheese and I just laid it around the edges. Next time I do these, I'll probably wait to put the cheese on though. It got a little brown. And once that's done, you just want to crack an egg into the center of each each half. I just saw a thing about you're supposed to crack eggs on flat surfaces, so I've been trying to do that. I managed to get most of the egg inside the bagel as well, too. I was pretty impressed about that. Salt and pepper to taste. You could probably mess around with different flavorings, garlic, whatever. Whatever you feel like. And throw it in the toaster oven, 350 for about 15 minutes. Video I saw that person used a traditional oven, but I'm using my toaster oven for everything. You want to keep an eye on stuff. Like I said, the cheese was getting a little bit brown. It didn't burn, and it tasted fine, so it wasn't a loss. When your eggs are done to your satisfaction, you can take them out of the oven. Look at that. That's some good shit right there. These are pretty good. I can only eat one half. So you might want to invite a friend. And check this out. That drippy dippy egg. Bam. Anyway, enjoy folks. Have a great weekend. Like, follow, subscribe, all that stuff.